back to GearWire.com. This is Gretchen Hasse. I'm here at AES, and we are with Oliver Neumann from Orange Hill Audio, and we are going to look at the newest version of Sequoia. Hi, Oliver. Could you tell us a little bit about the background of your company and um, how Sequoia is different from all the other things that are available? Okay. Um, the background of the company is um, we've been around for quite a while, actually. Um, the development of the smaller brother of Sequoia called Samplitude started I think like 15 years ago or something like that and um, from that on it grew and grew and um, well about six years ago that was the, the first time a Sequoia was released and it had features that were important for um, mastering and broadcasting stations and since that we're doing quite well especially in these markets. Is there anything that sets you, what specifically sets you apart from other people who are doing similar things? Uh, yes, there's one special feature. Um, it's so-called object-oriented editing, um, or object-based editing, you could call it. It's um, the possibility to have plugins, EQs, auxiliaries, also on clips on a track and not only on the track itself. And all these settings that you apply to a clip are being processed in real time. So, um, while playback. So you have one, you know, one object which is EQ'd in a completely different way, followed by another object which has a reverb, followed by another object which has a compressor, and that's all in one track. And you no no need to automate anything. So this is very useful, I think. For okay. so let's give a little demonstration of what it is that you're talking about. Yes. Okay. So what I was just talking about is um, what you see here is um, an arrangement of a couple of songs in one track. And um, say you're doing mastering, for example, and um, you have this one song where at one, uh, one snare hit, for example, it's just a little bit too harsh and maybe a little bit too loud in the mix. So you can just go in there, and maybe this, this might be the snare hit. So I can just um, draw a range over it and make a cut. So um, now you see that I just uh, cut that object into a, a smaller object which has only the snare in it. So I open the object editor by double-clicking this. And here what you have is more or less just like another channel strip, which is exclusively only on that highlighted section here. So I can just open the EQ, take the harshness out of it, and say OK. Say OK, and now the EQ is only on this small part, on this little section here. While this object following it, it does not have any EQ, as you can see here. And the thing about it is there's no need to render this to a new file. It's all, as I said, calculated in real time during playback. Well, that's Oliver Neumann from um, Orange Hill Audio. And stay tuned for more from GearWire.com and AES.